It was six o'clock. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, as you can see, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, pour forth. We beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. As we begin our liturgy today, let's keep in our prayers the priests and bishop and associate bishops of our diocese as they are on their um, annual retreat, that they continue to recognize, the, receive the spiritual growth that they need to lead us. Our entrance hymn this morning is, We Are the Light of the World. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit. This is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters present here and present by live stream, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You put your spirit into our hearts. Kiri elehi son. You teach us how to live. Christe elehi son. You invite us to be the light of the world. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as God is faithful, our word to you is not yes and no. But the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was, who was proclaimed to you by us, 
Silvanus and Timothy and me, was not yes and no, but yes has been in him. For however many are the promises of God, their yes is in him. Therefore, the amen from us also goes through him to God for glory. But the one who gives us security with you in Christ and who anointed us is God. He has also put his seal upon us and given the spirit in our hearts as a first installment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your words sheds light, gives understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Lord, let your face shine on me. Turn to me in pity as you turn to those who love your name. Lord, let your face shine on me. Steady my footsteps according to your promise and let no iniquity rule over me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm twisted here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. <clears throat> Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus Christ. In live theater, the star of the show, or at least the star of the scene, gets a big spotlight on them as they're performing. So everyone knows who, where your attention should be focused. And of course, after a really good scene, generally um, it's expected and an actor was, will really want an audience to respond in an appropriate way, either an applause or maybe a, a scene of shock or whatever emotion that they're trying to get. And even though they may not be able to smile because of the unblocking of the scene, inside it feels really good for that audience to appreciate us. And of course in real life we don't have spotlights, but there's many ways we try to be in the proverbial spotlight by letting others see, see us, making sure we're noticed, and seeking 
that applause, seeking that attention, seeking that praise, that affirmation from others. So when we hear in today's gospel where Jesus tells us that we are the light of the world, we may be thinking in that same way that Jesus is calling us individually to be in the spotlight. But Jesus is actually asking us to be doing something subtly different than being in the spotlight where the attention is on us. You see, the spotlight shines on a person. But Jesus is pointing out that God's spirit should shine out of a person, shine through the person. And in a spotlight, many times, we want to seek approval and attention of others. But as we heard at the end of yesterday's gospel, prophets were not accepted. The world may persecute us. And so our desire, our glory, is to allow God's spirit to shine out from us. And we seek God, not seek the approval of others. At times, what we do in our lives may contradict, may not be giving others approval. With salt, the other example Jesus used in today's um, gospel, salt is most effective when it's not noticed. If you think about it, if you taste, if you don't, if you taste food that is well salted, you don't even know that it was well salted because the salt just makes the food taste better. But if you notice the salt, that means there's way too much salt in it. And in the same way, if it becomes about us receiving an attention, if we're noticed, then God's not receiving the glory. And that salt and that and that and what we do, we're not augmenting, we're not making better but we're making it suddenly about ourselves. In our first reading, Paul, as he's explaining to the Corinthians that God, how God's yes always means yes, but we as humans, sometimes our yes is a yes or no. Paul had just apologized in the letter because he had promised the Corinthians that he was going to make a second trip, and now he had to break that promise. And many times when we overcommit, when we make promises to others, not through the spirit, but through our desire to please others, we may let people down, but we must recognize God's yes always means yes. And you and I are called to allow that spirit to direct us. One last thing. We may feel that it is our calling to avoid attention, to avoid being in the spotlight, but then there's a subtle difference. As God's light shines through us, God doesn't want us to hide that light. Don't hide it under a basket, but God asks us to allow God's glory to shine out from us. But we're not seeking that approval. We're not seeking that glory. But as we live our lives, just as all the saints have, God, allow God to work through us. And at times, God will shine through us. At times, we just do what we're supposed to do and no one may notice. But either way, our, our satisfaction comes from recognizing that God its glory is fulfilled. So yes, you and I are the salt of the earth and you and I are the light of the world. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our mission of being the light and the salt of the world. Our response, God of goodness, sustain us. God of goodness, sustain us. That the church may show the power and radiance of the Spirit to all seeking the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. 
that the brilliance of the gospel may enlighten men and women entrusted with decisions for the development of peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. That we, called to be salt and light of the world, may become a source of hope and comfort to our fellow, fellow people. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. That the sick, the depressed, and the heartbroken may discover the light of Christ through the ministry of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. That eternal light may shine on the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. God of goodness, sustain us. For the repose of the souls of Haitran and Virgilio de Miquelat, and for the intentions of Carlos Jacobo, all of whom for whom this Mass is offered, as well as in thanksgiving for Alena Rain Domingo, and for those intentions we carry in our hearts and are in the ark of prayer, we pray. God, God of goodness, goodness sustain, sustain us. Lord God, as we pray for others, we ask you to help us shine in their sight so that they may praise your goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that we may offer, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Santo. Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, et Terra, Gloria Tua, in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in Domine Domini, Hosanna, in 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, and Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the saints, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. On you stay, we all is Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be. Fortress and my deliver deliverer, my God is my saving strength. We pray for the benefit of those following us on live stream. My Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. After Mass today, um, beginning on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we will have Eucharistic Adoration in the Blessed Sacrament Chapel about five minutes after Mass ends, a time to spend time in the presence of our Eucharistic Lord. And we also, as a community, would be praying um, Liturgy of the Hours, Office of Readings, and Morning Prayer. So we invite you to maybe spend a few extra minutes with the Lord after Mass today. The Lord be with you. Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Closing him is Christ be our light. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the dark.